Vishal, the first time you went to Kargil was with me. Yeah. And that is why this podcast is especially very, very unique for me, very, very dear to me. Because Sher Shah Vikram Batra, an iconic legend of our time, your twin brother, if you look at you, we see Vikram, is now followed by all of India. He is a subject of cinema, of folklore. Everybody knows Vikram. But as his twin, it took you 10 years before you could go to Kargil. And we did that trip together. Let's start with your very first trip to Kargil. Uh, so first of all, Barkha, I'd like to thank you rather in 2009 when I got a call from you that Vishal, you would do a documentary on the Kargil celebrating the 10 years of, uh, you know, Vijay Devas. I thought that was the best time. And if I have to go back and tell that why I couldn't travel for the first 10 years, I'll be very candid that, uh, unfortunately, you know, the Vikram was the first cremation of my life. And uh, when we got Vikram's coffin, uh, and of course, you know, we were just 24. Uh, prior to that, I had never seen a dead body, right? And... Uh, I, I was totally shattered looking at my twin uh, while I remember when we opened the coffin, he was all smiles. Exactly the same smile what he had when he was fighting the battlefield. And then, you know, what happened, it just, uh, you know, you know the, the feeling what I, you know, gone through my heart was that I should not have done this 10 years. That I should have traveled at least one to see what he has done for the country while he was, uh, he was Sher Shah for the rest of India. For me, he would always be my identical pill now. And, and then, then I thought, let me go and see, you know, the courage, uh, you know, the likes of Vikram, Manoj, everybody did, you know, while fighting the, uh, the, the Pakistanis at the mighty peaks. Uh, I, I thought, you know, I should be going down and pay my tribute and at least let me visit the shrine where these young bravados of the Indian army led uh, in India to victory. And that's where it all started. And thanks to you that I could really visit and see those mighty peaks, you know, where I think the eagles, they are... You know, to fly. Yeah. And one of them is now named after your brother. Yes. It's called Batra Top. But yes. uh, we are so old, uh, you know, Vishal, that there are people today in our audience who are not even born at the time. Or were just about born when this war happened in 1999. Mein, which I always say it was a great honor of my life to have met your brother. Great honor of my life to have covered the war from the front line. But I want to give you a little context to our audience. Pakistani intruders are sitting on India's mountain tops yes. and heroes like Vikram Batra are tasked with climbing up these jagged peaks and getting the Pakistanis out, getting our territory back and hence every year we mark Vijay Divas. Now, you've Vikram ki smile. Ki baat ki. I'll tell you the one thing I remember from my interview with him and that is the that is the you know the interview that led to the movie led to everybody getting to uh, to know that one line maine unse bola maine kaha sir aapko dar nahi lagta right aur mujhe abhi tak yaad hai sab baithe the ek tent tha he had just come back from an op aur wo sari ek cosmopolitan ka magazine dekh rahe the main bhi unke sath baithi thi aur main i was very interested in understanding ki bhai courage to hai lekin dar bhi hota hai courage ke sath and he threw his head back and he laughed and he said, yeah, Dil Mange More. Yeah. And yeah, Dil Mange More was a Pepsi Cola slogan yes, at that time. Yes. Up to Pepsi Cola to sab hai, yeah. wo Vikram Batra ka slogan hai. Jab aap aur mein 10 saal baad Kargil gaye, to mujhe aaj tak yaad hai ki hum Batra top ke saamne baithe. Aur aap ne apne bhai ko, apne twin ko, ek chithi likhi. Aur aap ne jaysi kabutar ko asman me chhoda jata hai na, cage me se nikal ke. Aap ne apne bhai ko, एक चिट्ठी लिख के यू सेट इट इनटू द ब्लू स्काइज और आप और मैं बहुत रोए यस यू रिमेंबर वी क्राइड सो मच वी सैट देयर और बहुत रोए टेल अस अबाउट द लेटर यू रोट टू विक्रम सिटिंग लुकिंग एट बत्रा टॉप वो क्या चिट्ठी थी सो इफ यू रिमेंबर वर्कआउट उस वीक आपन सबसे पहले सेंडो पॉइंट गए थे जी और सेंडो पॉइंट से व्हेन यू लुक एट द माइटी पीक ऑफ द टाइगर हिल सो देयर इज अ फ्लैट लेंज एंड देयर इट गोस टू बत्रा टॉप और मेरे को जो फर्स्ट फीलिंग आई थी वहां पे कि यू नो मी एंड यू आई रिमेंबर वी ट्रेवल्ड इन अ इनोवा और इट टुक अस ऑलमोस्ट क्लोज टू 45 मिनट्स टू ट्रेवल टू दैट सेंडो पॉइंट तो मुझे उस दिन हैरानी हुई थी कि जो हमारे यंग सोल्जर्स थे द लाइक्स ऑफ विक्रम एंड ऑल अदर फेलो सोल्जर्स एंड द ऑफिसर्स हाउ डू दे रियली क्लाइंब दैट पीक राइट वी वर सिटिंग मी एंड यू वर सिटिंग एट अ 15000 फीट द पीक बत्रा टॉप नाउ देन पॉइंट फॉर इट्स एंड वाज ऑलमोस्ट 16500 फीट and i remember it we were shivering it was yes. very cold 
I, I remember you managed uh, to get me one sweater, right? And then we were wondering that how these people would have climbed in such a rough and a patchy terrain, yeah. such a low level of oxygen. So, as you mentioned, that what that courage each of these people would have. Reason is, I personally believe that all the human beings, some sort of jitne bhi insaan hai, hum paas tatun ke bane hoye, right? The jal, bayu, agni, prithu, rakash. So the thought that you know, uh, you know, crippled my mind was that what is the sixth element which each of these young bravados would have, and I believe is that was courage. Yeah. So, मुझे लग रहा था कि क्या courage होगी उनमें, and despite the fact Vikram was my own brother, and when I was looking at the four eight seven five, और वहाँ से आपको पूरा national highway नीचे clear दिखता है. बिल्कुल तो रियलिटी में इट वुड हैव टेकन अ रियल ग्रिट एंड डिटरमिनेशन एंड द गट टू बी देयर एंड पुश द एनिमी बिहाइंड बिकॉज़ एनी ऑफ एनिमी वाज एट अ वेरी वेरी स्टार्ट जी लोकेशन तो द फीलिंग्स व्हिच आई वाज राइटिंग इन द लेटर वाज एक्चुअली द सेम कि विशाल या तेरा अपना ट्विन है एंड आई रिमेंबर दैट जब हम स्कूल डेज में भी होते थे कॉलेज डेज में भी होते थे विक्रम वाज ऑलवेज अ बिग गो गेटर 